She went from material girl to queen of pop. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for Madonna's top 10 moments. Oh, no. Number 10, 21st Century Relevance. Madonna's continuous reinvention efforts have kept her in the public eye for years. But with the new millennium, the pop queen has just been making us scratch her heads. The somewhere over 50-year-old's antics have included drug references, burying her nipples, and using Nazi imagery and Muslim-inspired attire to make political statements. Has she gone too far? Is she too old for this? Only time will tell. Number 9, Super Bowl 46 Halftime Show. A little over a month before MDNA's release, Madonna broke multiple records at Super Bowl 46. With 114 million tuning in, her performance ratings bested the football game itself and became history's most watched halftime show. It also made her Twitter's most tweeted topic ever. Featuring several guests, including a bird-flipping MIA, it was truly a spectacle for the senses and proved Madonna still got it. And it feels like Number 8. The Confessions Tour Never one to shy away from controversy, Madonna returned to her Catholic roots on this tour. Though religion wasn't its focal point, religious groups focused specifically on the entertainer's choice to sing Live to Tell while draped across a life-size cross and wearing a crown of thorns. I have a tale to tell. However, their criticism did little to stem critics' praise, and Confessions became the highest grossing tour by a female artist. Number 7. Acting Don't cry for me, Argentina The truth is I shall not leave you When it comes to the queen of pop's acting chops, she can be really good, but she can also be oh so bad. You're wrong! She was most highly praised for desperately seeking Susan and Evita, which won her a Golden Globe, and she found commercial success with Dick Tracy and A League of Their Own. But she's also had some huge box office failures. Who's That Girl, The Next Best Thing, and Swept Away, which was directed by her then-husband, are just a few examples. The adventure is over. <laughs> the adventure is just starting for you, my friend. Number six, The Late Show with David Letterman. I'm only here because there isn't a Knicks game. Don't get excited. Oh, come on! <laughs> she caused controversy with provocative early 90s projects, but in 1994, Madonna proved she wasn't finished. Her profanity-laced David Letterman appearance featured no less than 13 F-bombs. You realize this is being broadcast, don't you? Sex talk, drug references, and her underwear. <laughs> that's not where they go. No, that's, no, believe me, that's My where the underwear number. goes. That's... <laughs> Though people weren't too happy with her behavior, they still watched the episode and gave the late night host some of his highest ratings ever. Car, and please they shut up, please. Can we, let's get to the tape. Number five, sexy music, books, movies, and shows. Madonna movie, Madonna video, Madonna record, Madonna book. Through her entertainment company, Madonna unveiled all of her sexual fantasies. First came the not so subtly titled Erotica album and the title track's S&M inspired music video. She then took it all off for her softcore coffee table book, which sold over 150,000 copies within 24 hours, despite the backlash. She continued the erotic themes in the thriller Body of Evidence and her girly show world tour. That's why we have to say goodbye, so say goodbye. Number 4. The Blonde Ambition World Tour The Material Girl continued testing religious and sexual boundaries with her third concert tour. Church folks were particularly riled up about a performance in which she simulates the act of self-pleasure with two male dancers. Even the Pope got involved, but the massively successful tour was also notable for choreography and its Jean-Paul Gaultier designed costumes, specifically the cone bra. An equally successful documentary capturing the tour was released the next year. Number three, music video controversy. So now what? 
Madonna's come a long way from her comparatively tame first music video. Aside from the supposedly sacrilegious Like a Prayer, Justify My Love's racy music video was banned by MTV, but it became a bestseller on VHS. Almost a decade later, What It Feels Like for a Girl's Extreme Violence was relegated to post-primetime airings, while the original war-themed American Life video was replaced with a more PC version. Number 2. Pepsi Endorsement Deal and Like a Prayer Though Like a Virgin caused a stir, Pepsi probably wasn't prepared for the uproar following Like a Prayer. Everything seemed fine when the song was used in one of the soft drink company's TV commercials, but Christian groups and the Vatican blasted the music video so intensely with blasphemy charges that Pepsi backed out of its $5 million deal. Didn't matter, the song topped charts and Madonna kept the cash. Go ahead, make a wish. Number 1. MTV VMAs Madonna took Like a Virgin's sexual innuendo even further when she hit the stage at the first MTV VMAs. Like virgin, hey. Decked out in a lace wedding dress, the young starlet performed the chart topper on a giant wedding cake and humped the stage floor. Madonna had tongues wagging again when she locked lips with Britney Spears and Christina Aguilera during a throwback performance at the VMAs almost two decades later. Do you agree with our list? What's your favorite Madonna moment? Be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com for more entertaining top tens. Erotic.